Welcome to part 10 of the HMS Valiant build-up. Uh, working on the stand at the moment, or sorry, should I say the base, I uh, just currently got it to, together so you can see what it looks like. Uh, it's near on 800mm in length, so it is quite large, and I think it's near on 400mm wide um, altogether. But at the moment I just thought I'd put it together so you can see what the thing looks like uh, with the seascape in. Um, I do need to blow this back apart again. Uh, I have been doing some putty work around where we've got some knots and other little imperfections. So I've actually used the natural uh, wood putty for that and that seems to uh, be working a treat. That is uh, sandable and it will also take a stain. So I'm going to take this uh, apart in a couple of minutes and uh, start the prep work on this as well you know to sand everything down sand all the putty down then I'll be able to apply a couple of coats of stain to it uh, I'll then be able to put some decals on it I've got a, a decal that needs to go there um, there's also a plaque that goes in the middle and then a couple of decals on the other side so once it's stained I'll put the decals on then I'll clear coat it it's going to be done with a matte varnish rather than a gloss varnish once all that's done, I'll then be able to put that back together again um, and work on the seascape. Um, obviously, I'll need to get the ship glued down to the seascape. Then once that's glued down, I'll be able to get all of the bow waves in uh, and whatnot and then start working on the sea caps as well, or the white caps of the waves as well, uh, just to generally get that finished off. Once that's done, hopefully uh, the little brass plaque that I've got coming in uh, should be uh, here by then, so I'll be able to put that on. Uh, and then that will be completely finished. So hopefully within the next week, maybe two, uh, this will be completely finished. I've got the Perspex in as well, just uh, currently working on that. Just getting that tidied up as well, that needs to be all glued together. Uh, so as soon as I made some more progress on this, I will come back to you. Okay, currently been working on the stand for the uh, ship. Um, been a bit disappointed with this actually, to be quite honest, in some respects. Uh, basically, what's happened is I was going to stain this uh, base. Uh, however, there were a few uh, dinks uh, in the wood. Um, mainly where there's not so I mean it's made of pine this uh, this this wood is pine and there was a few uh, a few knots that had cracked or um, you know where the wood had been cut the knots had come out so they just needed to be um, filled in now I have used a proper wood uh, filler on those and that wood filler is a natural wood filler and it does look exactly the same color as wood as pine um, and the uh, the wood filler does say that it would take a stain, so I went ahead and stained it, put a, put a, a, a one coat of stain on there. Um, the only problem is the wood filler did not take the stain, so you had these really sort of like ugly yellowishy blobs all over the place, and the rest of it was uh, darkened down quite nicely. Um, I obviously couldn't couldn't take that. That was uh, that was a bit of a no no. So what I've had to do is um, go back to the old style of doing them and basically paint it. So I'm going to do this in a, a black. It's going to be a gloss black to begin with because I need to get a couple of decals on there. Once the decals are on, um, I'll be able to uh, put a satin, um, or sorry, a matte um, a varnish over the top of this just to, to, to bring it down because I'd rather this stand on this one be um, matte rather than uh, a gloss. Um, so I've given the uh, the stand three coats of uh, primer, and that has actually brought out a few other uh, imperfections by doing that. So what I'm going to need to do is just go back in with a wood filler, fill in those imperfections, uh, and then give it a light sanding down. And then once I've given it a light sanding down, I'll give it a final layer of primer, and then. Once that's done, uh, I'll give it a good wet sanding and then uh, clean it all off and then put the uh, the black paint on top. Uh, so hopefully I should be able to achieve that today. 
so as soon as I've got some more white onto this, I will come back to you. So now I've got the uh, base painted. It's had uh, three coats of primer on there, and it's also had uh, three coats of top coat on there. The next thing for me to do on this is to get the decals on. Um, we're going to have a decal around here, uh, which is going to be a picture of my grandfather. And then we're also going to have uh, a picture around here, which is the ship's crest. Once they're on and dry, I'll then be able to put a matte varnish over the top of this just to uh, take the shine off of it because I don't want it shiny. But I did need to make this shiny uh, in order to get the decals on there properly. And then as I say, I just uh, coat over the top of this uh, with the matte varnish once that's done. Uh, once that's done, I'll be able to get the whole thing glued into place. And then I'll be able to get the ship put onto it. So as soon as I got to the next stage, I will come back to you. Got the stand put together now at long last. So that's basically going to have two coats of um, matte uh, varnish, uh, sorry, matte lacquer put over the top of it. And as you can see, if we just zoom in a bit, uh, just on this corner here, we've got the picture of my, uh, my grandfather. And then if we uh, pan around a bit, and that is the uh, tripod that's making that noise, I promise. Uh, we pan around a bit there. We've also got the ship's uh, crest there as well, which is absolutely fantastic. So they're on. Um, and they've also had the matte lacquer put over the top of those as well. And then we've also got the brass plaque that's been made up now, which just sits sort of somewhere in the middle. Um, there he is. Uh, but slightly up a bit. I mean, that will be sort of um, kind of about there like so really um, that has a, a double sided sticky tape film on the back of it um, so I don't need to worry about screws and stuff I can just put that on so as I say that's just going to go in the uh, in the middle of the stand so that's what that's looking like and you can see it's got a good uh, you can see my hand there so that's got a good uh, good reflection on it. That hasn't actually been lacquered to keep the uh, brass from tarnishing. I'm kind of thinking actually that um, it would be good just to let the brass tarnish over time. But uh, that's about where we are on the stand at the moment. Next thing for me to do really is get the ship put on. Um, I also need to uh, put some more uh, masking around the edges here where the board doesn't quite meet the edges but that's fine we can just uh, sort of make those into waves etc so that's not a problem uh, but yeah get the ship on that's the next thing um, get that glued on I'm gonna get that done in a minute so it's gonna um, sort of <clears throat> dry overnight really once the ship's on tomorrow I can then just start putting all the bow waves and, and whatnot on and get that sorted out uh, so as soon as I got to that stage, I will come back to you. Managed to make some pretty good progress uh, on the display now. Uh, before I put the ship on, I remembered that uh, I needed to put the felt base on, so I got that glued on. That's on there now and uh, taken care of, so that's good. I'm glad I remembered about that, because otherwise that could have been a bit tricky to put that on with a ship on. Uh, well, that's on looking good. Ship's been glued on too now. Um, I just basically used ordinary wood glue to get that glued on to be quite honest uh, that will hold it in there quite nicely uh, I've also used the uh, Woodland Scenics uh, water effects it comes in a squeezy bottle um, and it's just got like a, a little cap at the end of it that you can use it's just, uh, just, just to squirt it out and as you can see what I've done is I've got the uh, propeller wake, I'm not sure what that's actually called, but I call it the propeller wake. Uh, so I've got that all done. I've got the uh, the general waves that you're going to get around the sides of the ships there. Um, and we've also got some uh, sort of pretty unique patterns on each side. Now I do have some reference patterns for this particular ship. Um, and you do see that quite a bit on them actually. I'm not sure why that would be. 
it could be because um, at the front here you've got the anti-torpedo bulge that actually comes out so maybe that does actually create its own separate wake I'm not sure um, but I've tried to follow that as closely as I can it's not exactly spot on but you know it looks good enough and it's kind of the same the other side so if it's just lifts are slightly different because you're never going to get it matching exactly the same on either side so that's cool um, I've also put a bead uh, around the edges as well just to help uh, seal those in now this stuff will dry absolutely perfectly clear so once that's dried I'll then be able to go back in again and just uh, sort of touch that up with a bit of dry brush in uh, I also thought that I'd actually put the uh, the little plaque on there for you as well so you can actually see the position of that and that's actually looking quite good as well uh, so what I'll do is I'll just uh, zoom in so you can actually uh, take a little closer look at what's going on there so that's uh, some of the uh, the wave that we've got going on there so I'm kind of like liking the way that that's going I'm really happy with that actually to be quite honest first time I've ever done anything like this so I'm just kind of really happy with uh, the way that we've uh, managed to progress this and as you can see there you've got the stand uh, oh sorry the little plaque obviously when I go to put that on I will uh, find the center point for that before I actually stick it down uh, but that's uh, pretty much how she's starting to look at the moment so all I need to do really now is just wait for that glue to dry uh, or the realistic water just need to wait for that to dry once that's dried I'll be, then be able to uh, dry brush the wave caps and also the wake on the ship uh, just to uh, sort of get that looking white again uh, so as soon as I got to that stage I will come back to you